Your major tasks this week is going to be to learn how to use and adjust these compound microscopes. They are actually pretty awesome microscopes in terms of the quality. What is not awesome about them is that they are not particularly user-friendly. It's possible to use them and not go through all the adjustments you're supposed to go through, but the quality of the image that you get will be a lot worse. So it's really important that you go through all of the steps on the setup of the microscope that are listed on the web page on Brightspace. Before you do that though, let's take a look and just familiarize ourselves with some different things. So one of the things that some people don't ever figure out is that this microscope actually has what's called a mechanical stage. So when you put the microscope slide in here, there's a little clip that holds the slide in place. And underneath, there are, are some little knobs that you turn that move the um, slide back and forth underneath the objective lens, which is right here. One of the things that you can hopefully see is that when you have the slide over the light that's shining up from condenser underneath that you can see a little spot of light shining on the specimen there. So that's how I know that the specimen is actually directly underneath the objective lens. So that's an important thing in terms of getting yourself oriented. The other thing is that the objective lens is actually in a rotating turret like this and if you don't have the lens clicked into position then you won't be able to see anything. So listen. I don't know if you could hear that, but there's actually a clicking sound when it's in place. There's also this adjustment down here, which is something that you use when you're doing um, a type of microscopy that we are not doing, which is called phase contrast. Um, and so if you're not doing phase contrast, this needs to be clicked into position for zero. So basically you just leave that where it is. Um, the stage of the microscope actually moves up and down when you focus. So when I turn this focusing knob here, the stage moves up and down and the lenses actually are stationary. So one of the things you have to be careful, not so much on low power, but on higher power, is that if you crank the stage up too much, you can actually crash the slide into the objective lens. So that's something you want to be careful about. There is another part of the microscope, and this is the part that is the trickiest to adjust, and that's called the condenser. So uh, the condenser is underneath the actual stage, and this knob here is the condenser focusing knob. And you'll notice when I turn it, the condenser moves up and down. And this is a major part of the adjustment that is probably the most difficult to do. So the initial setup of the microscope is to turn the light on, like I'm doing right here, make sure that you're clicked in on 10x, make sure that this is on zero, crank the condenser all the way up, and then crank the stage of the microscope up until it's relatively close to the slide. The other part of the initial setup is to make sure that you actually have enough light that you can see what you're doing. And there's two ways to control this. One is by the um, field diaphragm adjustment dial, which is underneath here. If you turn it to the right, it's closed. We want it all the way over to the left so that it's open. And then there's also a rheostat down here that adjusts the brightness of the light. So if I slide it back and forth, the light gets brighter and dimmer. So with the field diaphragm open all the way, which is clockwise, then you want to look through the objective lens and adjust the um, brightness of the rheostat until it is at a comfortable level. So once you have the initial setup of the microscope, the very first thing that you have to do is to actually focus on the specimen. And that's actually one of the more difficult things. On the liver cross-section slide, which we're giving you to start with, 
it's not that hard because it's a big dark thing but if you're looking at something tiny like a bacterium or something where there's only a few items and it's on a big slide then it's sometimes hard to find the thing that you're actually trying to focus on one trick that I sometimes do in order to focus on the specimen is to actually sort of wiggle the mechanical stage as I'm focusing. One of the problems is that sometimes you're focused in on something other than the object, like maybe dust on the top of the condenser or whatever. And it's hard to tell, is that the thing I'm supposed to be seeing or is that something else? If you kind of wiggle the mechanical stage back and forth as you gradually turn the stage down, then when the object you're looking at starts to get in focus, you see it go moving back and forth in the screen. And that allows you to know that, hey, I'm getting pretty close to having the object in focus. A lot of times the object is in focus when it's very near to the objective lens. So if you turn the focusing knob and it's way far, the stage is way far away from the the objective lens and you probably have gone way too far. It's better to just crank it all the way back up and then slowly move it down while wiggling the mechanical stage until you get it in focus. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm wiggling the mechanical stage as I slowly move the focusing knob to make the stage go down. Oh, there I went too far. See how that gets the object in focus. So once you have the object in focus, you can then begin the condenser adjustment. It's really important that you actually get the slide in focus because if you don't have the actual specimen in focus, it doesn't do any good to do the condenser adjustments because they just get messed up when you go back and focus on the slide. So assuming that I'm focused on the slide, the next step is to close the field diaphragm all the way to the counterclockwise and check underneath the stage. There's a little sliding lever here. This one, that needs to be pushed all the way over to the right. Um, and then the other thing that you wanna do is to make sure that the condenser is cranked all the way up to the top. So if you've got the condenser set up right, it should look something like this. You notice in the middle, you can see the specimen in focus, but around the edge, it's all dark with sort of a blurry boundary in between the specimen and the darkness that's around the edge. Um, it's dark around the edge and blurry because you haven't focused the condenser. So watch what happens as I turn the condenser focusing knob, which is not, not the specimen focusing knob, but the condenser focusing knob, if I turn it so that it moves the condenser down away from the stage, this is what it looks like. And you'll notice if I turn it too far, then the brightness in the middle starts to get spread out again. So I'm gonna crank it back up again. It gets narrower and then it starts getting bigger again. So the point that you want is when it's at its smallest possible size and the edge of it should be really sharp. In fact, it's sort of a decagon, a 10-sided figure. That's what you want it to look like. The other thing is that um, you want this decagon of light to be centered in the middle of the field. There are two knobs underneath the microscope this knob here and this knob here. And if I turn the knobs, watch what happens. Oops. It causes the light, the decagon of light to move around in the screen. So what you want to do is turn these two knobs here, this one and this one, until the spot of light is centered right in the middle of the field. Once you've done that, then you're done with the condenser adjustment. I bumped this so many times it's not in focus. There it is. So at that point, you want to go ahead and open the field diaphragm until you can no longer see the darkness around the edge. That'll go like this.
this. So that is basically the end of the condenser adjustment. One thing that you should keep in mind is that this adjustment of the condenser needs to d be done each time you go to a, a different power in the microscope. So if, for instance, I want to switch from the lowest power to the next higher power, I can switch the turret like that. Then, and I may have to do a little fine focus adjustment to get the specimen in focus. Once I've done that though, I need to check again to make sure the condenser is adjusted. And to do that, it's quite simple. All you do is close the field diaphragm all the way counterclockwise, and then look through the eyepiece lens. And if that circle or decagon of light in the middle is not in focus and centered, then you should focus it using the condenser focusing knob and center it using these two little screws here. There are also two screws here in the back. Those, again, are used with phase contrast, so basically we don't mess with those.